the ghost of Kiev is the latest announcement to come out of Ukraine. The title has been given to a heroic pilot who's allegedly been observed taking down Russian jets, which in turn has become a symbol of hope for the Ukrainian people. A number of videos have already been posted, allegedly showing the ghost of Kiev taking down six of Putin's jets. The story only grew after a photograph of a fighter pilot was tweeted on Friday by a former Ukrainian president. Social media then started to light up with people posting the following messages. Ukrainian pilot shoots down a Russian Su-35 with his MiG-29. He's been nicknamed the Ghost of Kiev and is the first pilot since World War II to achieve a status. While another posted the following. The Ghost of Kiev may not just be one person, but maybe a group that are piloting similar looking planes. However, as someone wrote, even if the ghost is not real, it does give the Ukrainian people hope and a boost to believe in a hero in these tough times. The Ukrainian Ministry of Defense also added to the mystery by saying and tweeting an image of a MiG-29, saying that retired pilots were returning to the Air Force. They said the following, Who knows? Maybe one of them is the Air Avenger of the MiG-29 which is so often seen by Kievites. The official Ukrainian government social media page used this footage to their advantage and said that this individual is dominating the skies and is a nightmare for Russian aircrafts. But there's one small problem. It suggested that the aircraft doesn't even exist. They said the following on social media. People call him the Ghost of Kiev, and rightly so. This UAF ace dominates the skies over our capital and country, and has already become a nightmare for invading Russian aircrafts. The clip that's currently making its way around social media is said to actually be from a video game called Digital Combat Simulator. Fact-checking website said that a vertical video shared online does not show a Ukrainian fighter jet shooting down a Russian plane, but comes from the video game DCS. Many people said though that if this is the case it doesn't matter, as the point of the clip and the individual is to bring hope to those that are in this fight, and is being used as a moral lift. This person said the following on social media, This story is something you'd see in a movie. I think the point of the Ghost of Kiev is that it plays into psychological warfare as well. It will make Russian officials question what's going on, and if there really is a fighter pilot who has these abilities. Not only this, but it will lift up the soldiers who are on the ground, thinking that they have some super skilled pilot in the sky. This only has positive effects for Ukraine in my opinion. Maybe this individual is real. Just because the video may not be true doesn't mean that such a person doesn't exist. I'm sure there are many heroes in war that people never end up hearing about. What Ukraine needs right now is something like this to keep them moving forward. Perhaps this story will now give someone the confidence to take up the mantle of the Ghost of Kiev, bringing the story full circle. Regardless, it's important that the people and soldiers of Ukraine keep their hopes up, and I think this is a great way of doing it. Others went down a different route and said the following. Although this doesn't change my view to things in regards to Ukraine, it's strange how the official account would share this information, especially while being in the middle of a conflict with Russia, in which they've been outspoken about Russia sharing false videos. It seems strange to me why they would do the same, but I think the reason they created this story of the pilot was to inspire Ukrainians to fight for their country. I think it's been used as a beacon of light in dark times to give people hope. Elon Musk has now said the internet is in Ukraine. Those living and fighting in the southern and eastern regions of Ukraine have said that the internet connectivity has been massively impacted, saying that these regions are where the Ukrainian people are working the hardest to send back Russian forces. Many people in the past were against SpaceX starting satellites saying that they were interfering with things like astrophotography. 
However, with disasters like this that's happening in Ukraine, many have said that it seems like we need these Starlinks now more than ever. Going on to say that they could potentially save countless lives by letting people connect to the internet and call for the help they need. Elon has also said that he's heard reports that Vladimir Putin may try to drop the International Space Station from orbit, saying that he will do everything he can in order to save the floating laboratory. Dmitry Rogozin took to social media to warn that Russian experts would be necessary to keep the International Space Station in orbit, and that at the moment there's a possibility it could fall somewhere in the US or Europe. He said the following, if you block cooperation with us, who will save the ISS from an uncontrolled deorbit and fall into the United States or Europe? Elon then said that SpaceX would stop this from happening. So what do you guys make of the ghost of Kiev? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comment section below and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.